Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, I will be showing you how to add interview guides. Simply navigate to the left and click on interview guides. Now you might be wondering, what are interview guides and why are they important? Interview guides are the actual questions that the candidates will be answering in their one-way video interview. This is really advantageous if you keep hiring for the same position and you don't want to keep the set of questions on an Excel spreadsheet that you have to keep revisiting when hiring for this particular project. Now you can create questions on the fly or you can select a template when creating a project. We have some default interview guides that have been provided and with some really cool questions that have been created by an industrial psychologist. And you are more than welcome to edit this, add questions, remove questions and alter it to the suitability of the position you are hiring for. However, if you'd like to create your own interview guide, you are more than welcome to do so. And I will show you how. So you will click on add new and maybe the interview guide is IT support. And the description is an overview of what the position is about. So maybe we have a mid-level. Okay, so this is just a description and a summary of what the interview guide is about so that another user on Wembley comes onto the portal and they have a summary of what the interview guide is about without actually going and looking into the questions. So now we're going to create our questions. Okay, so maybe the first question there is, okay, so when we're looking towards the right, we have the preparation time and the answer time. This is measured in seconds. So the preparation time is the time that we give the candidates to prepare themselves for the question. And you can alter this um, and make sure that it's suitable to the question. So if the question is a lengthy question and the time or the candidate needs more time to prepare, then we will increase the time. However, if it's a shorter question and you don't need much preparation time, then we can keep it at five seconds. And the answer time, this is the actual answer time um, for the candidate to give an answer to the question. So it's also dependent on how lengthy the question is or what it is that you require from the candidate. So if maybe I don't want my candidate to tell me too much about themselves, but I just want a summary, I'll keep it at 30 seconds as the answer time. Okay, so maybe I have my Excel spreadsheet and I have my set of questions and I can pick from here and uh, maybe copy that what is your greatest strength and I can paste that and maybe I want my candidate to tell me a little bit more about their strengths so I will increase the answer time from 60 seconds to 120 seconds which is two minutes and the preparation time will not be five seconds but 10 seconds and I want to add another question maybe the last question why do you want to work here and I can click there and add that and maybe the preparation time can be 15 seconds and the answer time can be 45 seconds. Now something really cool here is the total time. So the three minutes, 45 seconds is the total time that it will take the candidate to answer my questions or to answer this interview. So it is nice to see the calculation. You can add as many questions as you want. However, just bear in mind how long it will take the candidate to answer all the questions. So now that that is done and I feel maybe, hmm, maybe the why do you want to work here should have been the second question instead of the third question. I can simply go on to these dots and I can drag it up and leave it there. Now that I'm happy and satisfied with my questions, I will click on create and my interview guide has been created. Now I'll show you how and where this is applicable and how I can add my interview guide. So when I go to projects and I will choose the project that I'm currently working on that is under draft and I will go to project settings and I will click on questions. Okay, so maybe I do not want to add these questions. I will clear and I can create my own questions on the fly or I can choose my interview guide template. So I will look for it. So here's the interview guide. So it says IT support and here's a little high level overview 
um, the description says mid-level IT support consultant. I will add that. And here are my questions and I can still add more if I want to add more questions and maybe let's talk about the strengths and, and the weaknesses. So, okay, so now I have four questions instead of three. However, please note that any question that you do add on the project does not add on to the interview guide. So the interview guide will remain with the three original questions that we had added. Um, and the fourth one that I created on the fly will only be applicable to the project. Okay, so the answer time has changed to four minutes, 50 seconds. And once that is done, I can click update and my interview guide um, is created. However, other than that, that's it from this lesson. Thank you very much. See you in the next lesson. Bye.